What up, y'all? It's your boy, Swag Breeze. Um, getting my response about WrestleMania 39, of, well, not one and two. And it was a good show, though. It was. And I got to watch it from home on Peacock. Um, it was really good, though. A good show, like, night one, the main event, um, Usos versus KO and Sami Zayn. Bro, best tag team match I've ever seen, man. Then I was even shocked that Jay Uso got pinned. I kind of thought it was going to be Jimmy, though. But Jay? Woo! And that was my... And that was actually my prediction, though. Like, KO and Sami Zayn win the tag team titles, though. I did predict that, though. I did. I did. That was my prediction, and I called that. Um, Rey Mysterio be his son... Thank goodness, because Dom was about to make me his ass my damn self. Like, in terms of disrespecting his dad like that, like, all the hard work he been putting on, though, for you, though, and your kids, and, like, come on now. Dom, you stupid. Like, bro, you're stupid. But I'm glad um, Rey Mysterio won that match against his son. Eddie Guerrero's music, everybody, <laughs> I was watching the reaction, people was, like, jumping when they heard Eddie Guerrero's music. And the Snoop Dogg came in. That was that was lit though. I like that. That was tight. Um, the stage was actually pretty cool though. I really like that stage though. Um, that's like one of the best stages I've ever seen like in 21 years. So if you ask me, and then John Cena versus Austin Theory. Not gonna lie, it was a good match. But I actually thought like John Cena was gonna win that because if you think about it though, like his first WrestleMania, what was it? I wasn't born then. 2020? Not 2020. Yeah. Wait, was it 20? No, 202, I think. Yeah. No, WrestleMania 20. Uh, won his first United States Championship. And then, like, a couple years, like 10 years after that, um, WrestleMania 31 against Rusev. Johnson in one day, United States Championship. And I thought it was going to be like a repeat for this one. But Austin Theory, though, I mean, I don't like the guy, though, but I will say that he's on top of this game, though. I will give him that. This man is on top of this game, so. Ever since this man got out of the picture at first, there he's been on this game, though, though so. Yeah, I, yeah. Good match, but I thought John Cena was going to be next. But. And then. Ooh. Charlotte Flair, Rhea, Rhea, well, Rhea Ripley. That match was pretty good, though, but, oh, my God, Rhea Ripley. I mean, after hearing our accomplishments, like, the NXT UK Women's Champion, like, NXT Women's Champion, SmackDown Women's Champion now, and then Raw Women's Champion, like, she's been on point, too, though. Like, she's on the road, like, i never seen before. Like, I don't know. But that was a bang match, too, though. Um, Bianca Belair versus Oscar. Oscar, I thought everybody wanted Oscar to win that. Even I did. Cause, nah, they're wrong for that though. They really are. If you ask me, they're really wrong for that. Oscar should have won that one though. But the Street Puff is one that um, that the tag team match, the four teams tag team match. I like that. I finally got a win at the main stage, though. That was awesome. Um, what else? What was I supposed to say? Edge versus the Demon Finn Balor. Solid. 10 out of 10. Triple threat match. Banger. Sheamus, Drew, and Gunther. Bro, I really thought um, Drew McIntyre was going to win that match, to be honest, though, because it actually been a minute, though, since he held it. If you ask me, because, like, he haven't held it, like, it's been a long time since he held that title, though. Sheamus lost twice, though, clearly. But Drew, I thought he was going to win it, though, like, because it's actually been a minute since he won it. I think that was his first championship. If you, like, correct me if I'm wrong, though, about that, but I don't know. But that was a banger match, though, because, bro, I was on my feet watching it. <laughs> it was a good match, though. I like that. Sheamus, Gunther, and Drew, 10 out of 10 right there. That was a good match right there.
five stars right there, man. Um, now as for Cody versus Roman, I'm not happy about the results. Because how in the hell did Solo, Solo Kozoa get, like, thrown out? Then the Usos in them came in. Like, bro, enough with the interferences. Let the man win his own match, like, by himself. Like, it's getting boring, though, because y'all been... He's been doing it like the last two years now. Like, bro, you make it people about to start watching WWE at this point, though. Like, you about to make people go like watch AEW or I don't know. Like, cause it's getting old and it's getting boring, though. Like, seriously, enough with the interferences, man. Let let them win their own matches, like to build themselves up more, though. But. I'm just getting tired of the bloodline stuff, man. But I don't know it's going to be a bloodline now, though, because the Usos lost their tag titles, though. So whatever happens to the Usos, I don't know, because no doubt they're the best tag teams right now, though. So, But because I really predict that all the bloodline, like, lose the goal, period, though. Like, even Roman, though, because everybody knew Cody was going to win that. Roman knew Cody was going to win. But if it wasn't for Solo... For Solo and Paul Heyman in the front the last minute. Bruh. I was so mad, man. Cause all that hype for Cody for what though after the Royal Rumble, like, bruh. Cause don't get me wrong though, like it was a good match though, but Cody was robbed for that. Cody was robbed. And I don't care who's in charge of WWE whatever, like, they messed that up though. Whoever's in charge of that. Like, making that match period, like, bro. Or need new writer or something, because that was stupid. Like, we all wanted Cody to beat Roman. Like, it was stupid. Everybody knew Cody was going to win it. Even Roman did. But that's why he had Solo Sokoa and Paul Hammond to help him out. Like, bro, when you own damn matches, you've been doing it for two years now. Two years. You can't never win a match on your own, man. And then... on. Like, if you ask me, though, like, Roman was better, like, without the bloodline period, though. Well, so many towers about himself, though, but all of a sudden, this one, like, this man's gonna keep having, like, bro, it's getting boring, and, oh, we need new champs, man. We seriously need new champs. It's getting old and annoying. Same with Bianca Belair, over a year as Rom. Raw Women's Champion. Like, it's boring. Same stuff she been doing. Say they were Roman. With the uh, Usos and the Bloodline. Like, y'all gotta switch it up, man. Because it's getting boring, though. Like, seriously. Same stuff over and over. Like, it's seriously getting boring. But. I mean, the rest of me would. Uh, I'm gonna get this show, like. Eight and a half out of ten. Eight and a half out of ten overall. Overall, eight and a half over ten. I'm just tired of the bloodline interfering the matches and Bianca Belair. Like, we need new champs, man. We need new champs. I'm tired of the bloodline. Like, it's like, no, no. And then if you ask me, like, the Usos would never be on the spirit of Chuck to Jamie's in the first place without Roman, though, because technically Roman helped them win that. They didn't, do on, they didn't do it themselves, though. Like, the other tag team titles, they won by themselves. But the only spirit tag team champions, when they beat RK, bro, Roman actually helped them. So, they would never be on the spirit of Chuck to Jamie's if it wasn't for Roman Reigns, to be honest. If you ask me. But... Did I think they definitely won without Roman? No. Because they lost to RK-Bro Bear, R- RK Bro at Survivor Series. And then, like, no. Come on now. They would never be on the spirit of Jack the Champions in the first place without Roman Reigns, though. So, that was like, no. Nah. This bloodline style needs to go, man. Like, Solo Sokoa, bro, you messed up that match, man. Like, you should just stay out of it. Like, it had nothing to do with you. Cody already beat you on Monday Night Raw before the night. No, before the um, WrestleMania weekend. Like, bro, you're not ready, so you're not ready. Like Cody said, you're not ready. 
Hopefully Randy comes back and takes Roman Reigns at SummerSlam or something. Like, we need new champion. Like, this bloodline and, like, Roman Reigns, like, Tyler Reigns needs to end. Like, seriously. By SummerSlam, WrestleMania Backlash or something, we need new champs. Like, same for Bianca Belair, man. Like, I mean, congrats to uh, Rhea Ripley. Well, the SmackDown Women's Champion. That girl on the road, man. I ain't going to care. She's on the road. But, nah, we need more champs. We need new champs, man. Roman Reigns and Bianca Belair, y'all y'all boring people out, man, like, two with T. It's getting boring watching y'all as champion. Like, y'all do the same stuff over and over. It's like, same interference and stuff. Like, bro, it's boring. But, anyway, um, y'all like this video, um, comment, share, sh comment, share, subscribe, hit the notifications button for more videos, though, and I'll get back to you guys later. Spike out.